Since 2013, Ramesh has been working as a gardener in Bengaluru. His home is about 30 kilometers away in a village called Hesarghatta. But for this 35-year-old migrant farmer, Bengaluru is now his second home. ತುಂಬ ದೊಡ್ಡ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಜೈಂಟ್ ಫ್ಯಾಮಿಲಿ ಎಲ್ಲರೂ ಬೇಸಾಯ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ಅಂದರೆ ಬೋರ್ವೆಲ್ ಫುಲ್ಲು ಕಮ್ಮಿ ಎಲ್ಲ ರೈ ಮಳೆ ರೈನ್ ಆ ಟೈಮಲ್ಲೇ ಕೃಷಿ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅದರಿಂದ ನಮಗೇನು ವರ್ಕೌಟ್ ಆಗ್ತಿರಲಿಲ್ಲ ಅದಕ್ಕೆ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ನಮ್ಮ ಅಪ್ಪ ಅಮ್ಮ ಅವ್ರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ಮಾಡ್ಕೊತಾ ಇದ್ದಾರೆ ಅವ್ರಿಗೂ ಏಜ್ ಆಗಿದೆ ನಾನು ಏನಾದರೂ ಸಾಧನೆ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅದನ್ನೆಲ್ಲ ಬಿಟ್ಟು ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿಗೆ ಬಂದು ಕೆಲಸ ಆಚೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಮಾಡಿದ್ದೀನಿ ಇಲ್ಲೂ ಇದು ಈ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಕೆಲಸ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಲ್ಲೂ ಇದೆ ಬರೀ ಅಲ್ಲಿ ಹಳ್ಳಿ ಕಡೆ ಇರೋದು ರೈತರ ಕೆಲಸ ರೈತರು ಅಷ್ಟೇ ಮಾಡಬೇಕು ಅಂತ ಅದೇ ಥರ ಗೊತ್ತಿತ್ತು ಮುಂಚೆ ಬೆಂಗಳೂರಿಗೆ ಬಂದ ಮೇಲೂ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿದೆ ಈ ಥರ ಮಣ್ಣಿನ ಬಗ್ಗೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಗೊತ್ತಿರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಇವಾಗ ಅದೇ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಥ್ರೂ ಅ ಫ್ರೆಂಡ್ ದಟ್ ರಮೇಶ್ ವಾಸ್ ಇಂಟ್ರೊಡ್ಯೂಸ್ ಟು ಅರ್ಬನ್ ಮಾಲಿ ಅ ಸೋಷಿಯಲ್ ಎಂಟರ್ಪ್ರೈಸ್ ದಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಬೀನ್ ವರ್ಕಿಂಗ್ ವಿತ್ ಮೈಗ್ರೆಂಟ್ ಕಮ್ಯುನಿಟೀಸ್ ಪರ್ಟಿಕ್ಯುಲರ್ಲಿ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ಸ್ by engaging them as gardeners in city gardens urban mali its founder tells us is trying to bridge the urban rural divide putting indigenous skill sets to best use while providing city dwellers a chance to enjoy the benefits of a healthy garden maintaining an urban garden is a skilled job something most city dwellers struggle with We are in the Yalahenka area in Bengaluru where Anuradha Bharat an HR professional lives. Ramesh has been tending to her garden for the last 5 years. My profession as an HR uh, takes a lot from me uh, working long hours etc. but and I couldn't tend to the small garden that I had but I wanted somebody to uh, somebody to take care of it to make sure that it was it was fine. and that they were growing healthy and any time i wanted to i could go and get my fresh produce from the garden beginning with the soil the maintenance of a garden is a keen science and requires patience olle mannu red agirutte kayal idkondre antkolodilla free agirutte soft agidre olle mannu anta gotagutte garden nalli navu mulching martive paati martive ಜೀವಾಮೃತ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ರೂಟಲ್ಲಿ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಮೆನ್ಯೂರ್ ಗೊಬ್ಬರ ಎಲ್ಲ ಹಾಕ್ತೀವಿ ಅದು ಹಾಕೋದ್ರಿಂದ ನಾವು ಗಿಡಗಳು ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಯಾವಾಗಲೂ ಗ್ರೀನ್ ಆಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಫ್ಲವರ್ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೂವುಗಳು ಬರುತ್ತೆ ತರಕಾರಿ ಹಣ್ಣು ಎಲ್ಲ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಫಾರ್ಮರ್ ಹ್ಯಾಸ್ ಅ ಹೊಲಿಸ್ಟಿಕ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡಿಂಗ್ ಆಫ್ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ದೇ ನೋ ವಾಟ್ ಸಾಯಿಲ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಚರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವಾಟ್ ದ ಕಲರ್ ಶುಡ್ ಬಿ ವೈ ಅ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ ಇಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲುಕಿಂಗ್ ಗುಡ್ ವಾಟ್ ಆರ್ ದ ಸ್ಪೆಸಿಫಿಕ್ ನ್ಯೂಟ್ರಿಯನ್ಸ್ ಇಟ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಸ್ So having these migrant farmers as our gardeners gives us the benefit of not having to go an extra mile into training because they already have a background understanding about nature. First to 1 liter kon. 1 liter regla. 1 kg sagari. 1 liter gram kalle sitto. Bella ond ond ide manna. Back at the Urban Mali office, Ramesh and Sudhakar are preparing a fresh batch of Jeevamrutha using cow dung, urine, gram flour, jaggery and some native soil. Yield is not a good thing, it is not a good thing, it is not a good thing, it is not a good thing. ಯಾವುದೋ ಫ್ರೂಟ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಇಲ್ಲ ಇದಾಗಲಿ ವೆಜಿಟೇಬಲ್ ಆಗಲಿ ಬೇಗ ಗ್ರೋತ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಈಲ್ಡ್ ಬರೋದಕ್ಕೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಬರ್ತಾ ಇತ್ತು ಮ್ಯಾಮ್ ಸಿಟಿನಲ್ಲಿ ನಾವು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಉಪಯೋಗಿಸಲ್ಲ ಜೀವಾಮೃತ ಪಂಚಕಾವ್ಯ ಇವೆಲ್ಲ ಯೂಸ್ ಮಾಡ್ತೀವಿ ವಿಲೇಜಲ್ಲಿ ಅದು ಕೆಮಿಕಲ್ ಆಗ್ತಾ ಇದೆ ತುಂಬ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ಎಲ್ಲ ಬಬ್ಬೆ ಬರೋಂಥದ್ದು ತುಂಬ ಅದು ಆಸ್ಮಾಕ್ಕೆ ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗ್ತದೆ ಆಸ್ಮಾ ಇರೋರಿಗೆಲ್ಲ ತುಂಬ ಪ್ರಾಬ್ಲಮ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಅದು ತುಂಬ ಡೇಂಜರ್ ನಮ್ಮ ಇದರಲ್ಲಿ ತರಕಾರಿ ಗಾರ್ಡನ್ಗಾಗಲಿ ಒಂದು ಫ್ರೂಟ್ಗಾಗಲಿ ನಾವು ಜೀವಾಮೃತನೇ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಎಲೆ ಎಲ್ಲ ಕಲರ್ ಬಂದಿದ್ರೂ ಗಿಡ ಹೆಲ್ತಿ ಬರುತ್ತೆ ಅಷ್ಟು ಶಕ್ತಿ ಅಂಶ ಇದೆ ಜೀವಾಮೃತದಲ್ಲಿ ತುಂಬ ಒಳ್ಳೆಯದು ಅದು ಹೂವ ಬಿಡ ಒಂದು ಎರಡು ಹೂವ ಬಿಡ್ತಾ ಇದ್ರೂ ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಹೂವ ಬಿಡೋಕ್ಕೆ ಸ್ಟಾರ್ಟ್ ಆಗುತ್ತೆ ಜೀವಾಮೃತ ಒಂದು ವೀಕಲ್ಲಿ ಏನಿಲ್ಲ ಅಂದರೆ ಟೂ ಟೈಮ್ ಹಾಕಿದ್ರೆ ಚೆನ್ನಾಗಿ ಹೆಲ್ತಿಯಾಗಿರುತ್ತೆ ಮೈ ಪ್ಲಾಂಟ್ಸ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದೇರ್ they are alive healthy and kicking and, and it's
The enterprise has so far helped set up and maintain about 1,000 gardens across Bengaluru. One of the common challenges they have faced consistently, however, has been over dispelling common perceptions, like the tendency to prioritize aesthetics over health and environment. The desire to choose exotic varieties over native ones is one of them. If you look at our grandmother's time and the gardens that they used, they were all native desi varieties of plants. They were plants that are used for a cough and cold or a fever or something that makes a delicious stir fry. Uh, but these are plants that are used to the climate or the environment that they grow in. If you didn't water these plants for three days, they'd still know how to grow well and survive. Some of the native plants that can easily be grown in your garden are of course Tulsi, um, everybody's favorite and such an auspicious plant. Ajwain is another plant or Dodapatre, what we call it in Kannada. Um, or even um, Mexican oregano is a common name for this plant. Very good for coughs and colds again. Uh, in the flowering plants, hibiscus is, is one of our native varieties. In 2018, a tree count of 23 plots along a gradient was conducted from Bengaluru city centre to its northern fringes. Of the total of about 1,100 trees across 93 species, 53 species were exotic. At a public garden in Jakur, Vandana draws our attention to some of these popular non-native species found in profusion across the city, from the Durantha hedge plant to the African tulip. Many of the plants that were brought in for horticultural purposes have also turned out to be invasive plants. Invasive plants are plants that grow so well and spread so much in this new environment that they start eating out all the native flora. That's a problem because this native flora attracts the butterflies, the birds, the bees that are native to this, uh, this habitat that these invasive plants are growing in. According to her research, Vandana suggests that India shelters over 18,000 unique plant species within its vast forests. Only 5 to 10% of them, however, find place in our urban gardens. Today we are at the foundation for revitalization of local health traditions, a research organization that works on reviving the use of medicinal plants. This lush 15-acre campus, replete with indigenous varieties, is a study in contrast to the typical urban landscaping models and a regular haunt for Vandana, where she picks native varieties for her customers. Bengaluru is, the meaning is Benga tree. There were so many Benga trees of this place, that is how it is called Bengaluru. So this is the tree. This flowers, you know, that has a black and yellow combination like tiger. So Benga is actually our Venga in Tamil or Malayalam. In Canada, it is a tiger. So from a distance, if you look at this tree, it will look like a, as though tiger is standing. Botanist and conservationist Dr. Ganesh Babu has been nurturing native plant varieties here for the last 20 years. There are about 1,800 medicinal plants on this campus and 180 red-listed endemic species. There are uh, uh, yellow color sap, uh, red color and white color. But here this is very unique on the mother earth which uh, bleeds blue. We can call it as a wild uh, banyan tree. Wow! <laughs> so this is actually called uh, wild ginger. Okay, when we go to forest, uh, sometimes in evergreen forest itself, we will not get water. So we will be looking for these cones. So what we will do? See, we drink. This is actually, it will give a ginger smell, gingerbread jiram bait, we call it as. And also you can use it as a, what? Hand wash. And after it dries, you know, the skin will become very smooth. This leaf, you may know that we call it as Brahmi in uh, Ayurveda and Vallare in Tamil and Kudangal or Muttal in Malayalam. And beautiful name in Telugu, they call it as Saraswati Aku, means leaf of Saraswati, that is goddess of wisdom. So if you see this plant, it will look like a brain, right? So that is how they started using it for as a brain tonic. Even now it is called as a memory 
booster. The same plant leaf, if you turn like this, this looks like a kidney, correct? And this is also used in urinary disorders. Not just curation, the park has developed a way to propagate what Babu calls functional gardens. This then serves as a model for urbanites who can now witness how concepts of aesthetics and ecology can work together. So how many days you will be seeing them? How many years you will see for plant which gives flower? It is a kind of scenic value. But you, if you think that the same plant can be used for different purposes, for health or as a drink or as a food or if it has an ecological value, so that is what we call it as a functional gardens. This family of three in Bengaluru has been enjoying the fruits of their labour, quite literally, for the last one year. Set up with help from Urban Mali, this terrace garden is native, functional and produces fruits and vegetables, some of which make it to their table every day. During Covid, like we were uh, depending on others for food and everything, so we just wanted our own garden where we can have our produce. So the flowers that we have got is all uh, native varieties. As well as obviously the elaki that we have got, the fruits uh, are also native. So pomegranate, papaya, so tomato, uh, the local varieties, all those are native varieties that we have got. So herbs also, if you see ajwain, um, the, no, lo, I have a pan which is very useful for medicinal purpose. Tulsi which is very useful, ajwain, many uh, which we use it in a daily basis. This garden again is completely organic. Indigenous plants mean they are naturally robust, inviting biodiversity and requiring far lesser maintenance. Obviously, if you look at the flowers that we have, we are, we are never out of flowers ever. As in, it's like always perennial, they're always there. Fruits, same. I mean, the tomatoes that we've grown, I think we've never run out of tomatoes in the past. A few more of the native plants which we actually got from urban Mali was the red amaranthus the periwinkle and the butterfly. Urban Mali currently provides employment to close to a hundred gardeners. Most all of the migrant farmers like Ramesh. Thanks for watching Eco India. If you like the story, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe to scroll.in on YouTube.